Hello everyone. I decided to actually live stream for Starfang Saturday. Isn't that amazing? The one streamer nobody gives a shit about is back on Instagram. If you're watching this from your phone, you can just tilt your phone, it's fine. I doubt very many people watch live streams on their computer. Of course, there's no flashlight button on here, which is really fucking stupid. That's why I wish I could just live stream from my from the uh, video camera mode because then it has the light option. Before I left today, I taped up my back of my heel, <laughs> my ankle and heel area, they're all taped up with Gorilla Tape. A little life hack I picked up. Um, if, if you don't have money like I do, um, I am broke as fuck, so I can't just run out and buy a new pair of shoes. My shoes get worn out really quickly. Um, to avoid getting blisters, tape your feet up. Uh, winter time, whenever my feet would get soaked, I would get sick. So I was the kid that would wear plastic bags in his shoes and uh, curl my pant legs up so then I wouldn't get wet. Dimmick mom, hey, Miss Dimmick. Awesome, hey. Good to see you. That's my art teacher, everybody. I'm just in Roy, in case anyone's curious. I'm gonna walk by everybody's favorite back alley. By the Chinese place. This is art. <laughs> this is what I do for a living now. I go out and I film dumpsters. And I critique it. <clears throat> Sometimes people like to drive their cars down here. I mean, there's no signs telling them not to do it, but really they shouldn't. <clears throat> I mean, unless it's like a... You know, like a semi-offloading stuff. It is like... Okay, it's like 11... And it's hot. It's like 90 degrees. It feels really stuffy out here, like at least 90, maybe 88 degrees. The minimum. Yeah, it's still hot. It's time for a nocturnal summer. If you're going to go to the beach, go to the beach at night, start moon bathing. <clears throat> Oh my goodness. There's somebody who's not robbing the bank. See, I like this fence with the little like wall ivy on it. I always thought that was pretty, but it's like juxtaposed against Well, you can see. But I like you know, people are like, oh the ivy's invasive, it's ugly. I like it. Sue me. Count me in the minority, but I think it's pretty. It gives the house that old world bijou look. Like from England. Like the real rural parts of England. Those houses are gorgeous. They have those like, uh, I think they're called Tudor style homes. With like the uh, pointed roof. And they have like, like, The building, those houses, like from about here, would all be like masonry, like rock wall. Then up here would be white, but they would have like dark brown beams or woods cross-sectioning it and jutting out. There's another name for it, but you, you can also call it like a Tudor style house. I love those houses. 
When we lived in Germany, it seems those types of houses were plenty. I think it's just like a European, like a West European thing. Germany had it. Uh, it's very prevalent in England. Well, at least in the older homes, it's prevalent. Now, of course, that used to be Blimpy, and then not too long ago, it was this coffee shop. It looks like they're getting ready to tear it down. UDOT is. This whole sidewalk will be closed, by the way, just FYI, for any fellow pedestrians. This will be closed off. Um, I still have no idea what they're going to do about the Wendy's. I was under the impression they were going to move it further into the parking lot. But being the fact that they've basically been working around it and it's still here is kind of... I don't know. Because the bank, they got rid of that last year. And it's a Saturday night. So what time is it? 11.17. Still Saturday. We will be recording into early Sunday. Because I need to get my steps in anyway. I need to go and get some exercise. Can you imagine if I had money, I'd waste it over at Rancheritos? <laughs> to presume I have no taste. I, j I just as soon as go to Taco Bell. If I wanted Mexican. <clears throat> I.e. non-authentic, not real, actual Mexican cuisine. I just assume go to Taco Bell. I'm really hoping I don't get fucking ran over. Okay. I also really don't want to damage this phone. This is an older phone. It's a brand new phone, but it's an older model. It's like from within the last few years. It is not an Outlast. So it means that I... I uh, incrementally love it a lot more than the last piece of crap phone that I had. People are like, oh, he's filming. Oh, let's slow down and see. It's 2020. People live stream. Like, honestly, get over it. Uh, so I guess they're never gonna fix this mess here. Hmm. We're also gonna be Karens tonight. Uh, if we find things like that, we're gonna bitch about it. And, uh, try to get the attention of some council members, government officials, to have them fix it. Immediately. You can tell it's still early. The way this traffic is. It is still early on a Saturday. And it's too goddamn hot, too. If I go anywhere tomorrow, it's going to be through an Uber. Because I'm not walking anywhere. Look, I went filming earlier today up the road not quite to Riverdale, it was still in Roy and by the time it was like 9 barely 10 it was way too hot this is feeling like California city weather in the Mojave and it's already 11 I would, I would have to wait till about 11 to go out walking in July because it was too damn hot but that was like the desert desert. Here it's Utah, and I'm having to do the same thing. Spanglish place that was here. They're gone now. They're in Clearfield. I thought they'd shut down because they're food. Let's be honest. I don't like lying. 
Um, their food was okay if you knew what you're getting, which that tells you I already that I didn't know what I was getting. Because it felt like half the stuff they'd serve you was like this weird, like, it didn't taste like Mexican to me. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't. I didn't. I've had Manuel's. I've had El Matador. And I know that Matador is Spanish, not Mexican, but that's just what they call it. And uh, this place is like, it does not taste like Mexican food. I'm so old now that if I get something that I like, I have to have them write it down so that I remember. So next time I can go and order that. Imagine being almost 11.30 at night and it's still too goddamn hot. Still too hot. I wonder if the people that run that shop live in that RV. Imagine sinking all of your life savings to opening some very niche fucking tabletop D&D oriented store and you're like and you're not even opening it like somewhere big like Ogden or Salt like you're opening in Roy and you're like why <laughs> why isn't my store getting any hits why am I on my fourth chapter four bankruptcy or chapter two but whatever Why do I have no money? Why am I not making money? Because you're a new business and you're going to charge lots of money for shit nobody wants. I think that RV there is the new owners of this building. I think. <laughs> because that uh, Lucky China has been bought and it's supposedly going to be converted into a Japanese place. I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens. Normally they have a company go in and, uh, you know, gut the place out, renovate it, but Maybe they want to save money by uh, doing it themselves, which, depending on how handsy you are, could end up being just as much, if not more, than hiring a uh, contractor. But we'll see. I'm sure that Dr. John's will become a Chinese place. Which I'm fine with as long as it's not another buffet. <clears throat> I have not been to the new buffet because I'm still pissed off it's no longer a Rite Aid. And now I'm hearing the Walgreens's are going to be closing. And people are like, oh, just go to CVS. Okay, CVS is not the same. And I was talking about this a few weeks ago or months ago. CVSs are dark and depressing. At least the ones here in Utah, that's like they're dimly lit. They're depressing. The atmosphere is just kind of ugh. The ones in California is the first time I've ever been to a CVS and they were like illuminated. I'm already fucking sweating. It's 11 at night and I'm sweating. I'm probably gonna get sunburn at night. Which I think is actually a thing. I think you can get sunburned at night. I think I read that somewhere. Isn't that insane? It's like you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. I don't like CBS. 
I, I don't even really like Walgreens. I liked Rite Aid. I just think it's so stupid. I mean, granted, they renovated the building, but they took, like, what was a really awesome corner convenience store turning into a fucking Chinese buffet nobody wanted. Literally nobody was asking for that because we had a perfectly good buffet over here that used to be near Scooters. And that closed just like, what, three years ago? Two or three years ago? That place was awesome. Let's see. People waiting in their cars for their grinder hookups to meet them. I'm in the CVS parking lot. Come meet me. I got some party supplies I picked up at Dilly Dally's. I mean, if you live somewhere as boring as Roy, I imagine. <laughs> if you didn't have a car or a means of getting the hell out of here, I imagine that's how your weekend would go. <laughs> Try living here in the 90s when we didn't have smartphones. We didn't really have cell phones. We definitely didn't have those dating apps like we do now. Oh, that cop is still there. He's still there. Their exotic meat of the month, human. Nilgai antelope. That doesn't sound like it would make a good burger. I'm sorry, but they were known. They were famous years ago just for their like original burgers. Then it's like, now it feels like now they have to outdo themselves or outdo their reputation. Like, oh, we're famous for much more than that. We're not like other girls. We put out exotic meat that nobody fucking asked for. It's like I was saying the other day, when you go to like one of these like Ocean Mart for something refreshing and cool, because it's hot out, you're like, you know, how about like an ice cream? And they have like, you see their selection, it's like lobster ice cream, squid ice cream, soybean ice cream, or I'm talking about, when I say ice cream, I mean like a popsicle or whatever, or ice cream on a stick. Squid ice cream, spaghetti, pizza flavor. I just like, what the fuck? I just want chocolate or vanilla. Or mint, if you have it. Or lime. And they look at you like you're fucking insane because you don't want to eat spaghetti flavored ice cream. Isn't that insane? You can't even get chocolate ice cream. You have to get pizza flavored ice cream. Can I not cross the street here? That's super inconvenient. Fifty two hundred south. I would never like look. <laughs> I don't have a huge problem with Roy. I think it's boring as fuck. I think there was more to do. Like 25 years ago, there was more to do. All the places that used to be there that you could do are gone. Same thing with Clearfield, there's nothing to fucking do. The city council will sit here and tell you, oh, buy local. Where? I guess there's spare time. I guess you could go there. You could go have a family bowl session or whatever. Cop pull over a cop who pulled over a, a civilian. Isn't that funny? That's how my dad would always refer to people. 
because he worked on base. We call normal people civs or civilians. And I'm like, to me, I would almost interpret it as like an insult, like a slur. Oh, there's even more cop cars coming. They might, they found OJ's driver. They found him. Like civs. We always complain about civilians. And I'm like, if you know his personality, he's kind of an asshole, so it makes sense. But it, it, gave, it gave me the error, the impression of like, oh, I'm better than you. And when I got to like, reading people's personalities better, which comes with age. I was like, oh, you are a narcissist. Okay. Which I've openly called him a narcissist before many times. Narcissists don't want to be labeled. They certainly don't want to be labeled as a narcissist. And I said, oh, you're just a narcissist. Okay. It makes sense. It makes sense now, to me, why you have this attitude, and why it extends beyond work, your job, your workplace, into your own family and friends where, oh, <laughs> they're not good enough to be around me. It's like when you get to know someone's actual real personality, because they say that we have different fronts. They say personalities. I think you only have the one personality. You just have different, like, egos or fronts. Or, like, um... Oh, man, they turned the brights on, didn't they? Like, you just have different, like, alter egos or fronts that you put on, like, for work, for school, for church at home I like to think I'm pretty much the same asshole around everybody because it's just it's it's easier and less of a hassle to sit here and be like oh I can't talk about that because I'm at home It was just easier to be the same person. At work, at school, at home. I don't do church because it's a fucking ripoff. <clears throat> so you could tell that couple never fucking leaves the house. Like, even leaving during the night is a rare occurrence. It's like, oh, <laughs> let's go to Burger Bar. <laughs> oh, honey. It's Saturday in Utah. Everything is closed by 8 p.m. Sorry. I'm serious. That is a Utah thing. Go to Nevada. And this isn't, and people say, oh, it's because of COVID. This was a thing long before COVID. They're like, oh, it's Saturday. I am don't have work. I'm bored. What's to do? Can't fucking do anything now because all the developers and UDOT and city council everywhere went took down the good movie theaters they roy in riverdale had a good movie theater right there cinedome and that was sold to larry h miller who the fucker turned it into another dealership because that's just what we needed on riverdale road another fucking dealership this where everybody named larry in my life has been a cunt no joke. That is just, that, it seems that's, a, that's just a name. When you name your child that, you're, you're basically enabling them to grow up to being a massive cunt. <clears throat> or a loser, basically. It is so fucking hot right now. <laughs> and it's nighttime. And it's hot. I should be like, oh my god, it's a relief to be out here. God, those cops are still there. I don't really, really want to walk out there. There's nothing to see. I 
I'll cross the street and then I'll go into like the suburb and uh, walk around the cops, I guess. That should be possible. They get really mad when they think that you're rubbernecking when you're being a, a looky-loo. They don't like that. This fucking idiot in the silver car is staring at me the whole time they're driving. They're like, Yeah, I'm filming. It's fucking legal. Publicly accessible space. You're supposed to be focused on the road, dipshit. More evidence that people here don't know how to drive, as if we really needed any more evidence. <clears throat> Go driving on antelope and the evidence speaks for itself. It's interesting though, in the last five to ten years, there's been a rise in these autism solutions type of places. <clears throat> Maybe it's because I was like a minor and in school, public school, but like I remember in middle school, high school, elementary school, a lot of Down syndrome kids. And I don't remember any of these places, programs existing. So I wonder if the numbers kind of jumped. It would have to be in the last 20 years. I have to look at the at the stats cuz Utah does produce. It's really funny to me. Utah produces a disproportionate amount of a lot of things. Like alcoholics, it's a dry state, but they have like they're like really high up there in like um, DUI related car accidents. They produce a very big disproportionate amount of gay porn actors. Extra mile. So fucking stupid. I think it used to be Jackson. This is like the fifth fucking time in a decade that they've changed their fucking thing. They should have just sold it to Maverick. Become a Maverick. Not a 7-Eleven, not an extra mile. Some franchise no one's ever heard of. Pizza slut. I'm gonna wait till all these cars are gone. Early days, Saturday, August 3rd. Run two mile walk. So other people, you can walk, others will run so then you could walk. I don't see any point. Is it for charity? Wait. We keep doing these runs for cancer and building up money. I have yet to see a fucking cancer vaccine or cure. And it needs to be a one, a one for all thing. So it doesn't matter if it's breast cancer, prostate cancer, you know, it needs to be a cure all that works for all types of cancers that just eradicates it. Oh, I don't think I've ever been on this side of the street. Oh, no, I tell a lie. I was out here back when Kelly Services were here. They're such a shitty fucking training company. This is back in 2003, 2004. My friend's dumb cunt mom referred me to go to them. She's like, well, I got my job through Kelly. Now I understand why she's the way she is. Because it's like she didn't know how to fucking get a job. Like, call, hi, are you hiring? Hi, Pizza Hut, are you hiring? Great, I will be in for an application today. Hi, Little Caesars, are you hiring? Great, I will be in later today. Literally all you have to fucking do. And this was in 2003, 2004. <laughs> I went through Kelly, and it, no, it might have actually been 2005. This is when DVDs were now common. They put on, like, an ancient fucking VHS from, like, 
the latest it would have been like 91 an old ass antiquated VHS I didn't retain any of the fucking shit I learned because I don't think I learned anything because Kelly services used to be in here it used to be in this little strip mall here Now it's a bunch of predatory loan places. People ask, how do they thrive if they're giving away money? How do they make money? Because they put out bounties on you. They sue you. They put freezes on your account and your assets. Now, in some cases, people get the money and they pay it back. They get like a $400 pay advance or whatever. Because there's a lot of now they have application fees. Any other fucking apartment, they need $400, $500 fucking application fee. That's just to be like, to look at the place and guarantee that you're going to get it if, you know... Which is kind of fucking retarded, but whatever. And these places aren't even nice. It's not even the nice places, supposedly nice new ones. If they're brand new, I'm thinking there's no dirt, there's no scratches, there's, there's no scuff marks. Everything's in working order. That's what I expect. The plumbing to be working, the water to be white, not brown. Um, but it's like you go in these places and they show it off. They're very proud of their shitty little, like, ghetto slumlord building that's literally no better than, it's literally no better than, like, the shell of a truck. And they're like, so, what do you think? And I'm like, well, it's kind of a lot for uh, such a small space. And of course, they absolutely cannot throw in... I mean, nobody throws in um, utilities anymore. I'd be very surprised if any places throw in utilities. And they always use inflation as an excuse, but it's like, okay, Utah's been inflated, then forever since the past it's been non-stop inflation since the past 20 years cadence apartments I could have sworn for the longest time this was just an old folks place because these apartments are really just like those little bungalows in Sunset, that I used to live. That place is a fucking hellhole. That place might be for rent soon. Looks like it's all emptied out. But I wouldn't want to live out here. When I was saying earlier, Past a certain point in Roy, I wouldn't live anywhere past because as a pedestrian it just becomes strenuous because then I have to go to Harmon's for my shopping and they're expensive. The library here is absolutely fucking pointless. It is pointless. <clears throat> Oh, they might have called a tow truck. I don't know, I could probably walk by and not get yelled at.
literally I'm not here to film the cops I'm just here to go wherever they're like we saw you walking on the other side of the street we know you're up to no good Soda Max. This place is closed. That place has been so many different businesses in the past like 10 or 20 years. It's been like 10, 20 different things. It's hot. <laughs> I didn't know I couldn't drive drunk in Utah. <laughs> Silly me. Silly me. They get really paranoid when they see you with a camera. They're like, ooh. -hoo. Oh, honey, it's dark. And you're ugly. They're not going to fucking pay attention to you. They're not going to pay attention to you. Trust and believe. Should we go up to the steps up here? the little crackheads are out. I thought they would come out way later than like 11.40, 11.48. I mean, it's going on midnight, but I thought it would be too risky for them to come out anytime before 2 a.m. I filmed here. I didn't upload this video yet, but I filmed here. That guy's fucking drunk. We're on something. <laughs> Should we go up to the steps? Fuck yes, we should go up to the steps. Woo! Hi! Happy Pride! I know it was last month, but you know, <laughs> I celebrate it all the time. What can I say? <laughs> I fucking crack it over there with a the light screen was like doing their business in the bushes or something. Oh, he's confused. He stopped in his tracks to look at me to see what I was doing. Oh. Those poor, muddled, befuddled policemen down there, they called for, like, a fifth fucking car. Hey, Donnie, can you, like, end your, your donut break early and come assist us? These two cunts are, are, are resisting. 
They were driving while ugly. <laughs> And that's, you know, they were already under the influence of being ugly, so, you know. DWU, DWU, DUIU, driving under the influence of being ugly. That's the new man. Well, it's not new, but the old building was right over there, across the street, closer to Harmon's. Now it's like some Hertz car rental place, but the original house is still back there. Also, I cut out the parts about it, but like in one of my latest videos, you're going to see this coming week. So like Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, there is a lot of locusts or grasshoppers or whatever the fuck. Just everywhere. The little crackhead managed to find his room over there at the Royal Inn Motel. I'm sure people feel like royalty when they they put in their room key and uh, it snaps off in the in the lock. And when they have to call a hire a locksmith to come open it. And then they find out it's the wrong room and then they also find a uh, a deceased prostitute and her uh, her pimp. Is that guy still there? So I zoomed all the way in because I want to see if that fucking... I don't know if he was drunk or on drugs or what. He probably works over at the spare time. Everybody there seems to be on something. Oh, he's over there. I just heard a noise. He's over there digging through the fucking... He's looking for something he can keep. Oh look, I found a used condom. That's a memento. Uh, it is so hot, people are walking their dogs right now. <clears throat> of course, even without it being like almost record temperatures. I don't know if it's record temperature for Utah, but it's been very hot. Um, people probably wouldn't walk their dogs anyway during the day. Even going at seven or 8 p.m. and that's usually a guarantee it's going to be cool it is not cool enough it's still too fucking hot we went there to scooters earlier today and they are fucking awesome they're so good i always get the strawberry lime with a uh, lemonade <clears throat> And that used to be a KFC. People don't remember. Before this was Lee's Fish and Rice, it was a KFC. I wonder how many people are pissed off that they couldn't keep the business how it was. Now it's some fucking another another Mexican place. I say another because there's only been so fucking many on this in this area, <laughs> and most of them are all gone. Ranch Ritos is still there, but it, it, their food is disgusting. It, it, and it amazes me that they're even still in business because their food is so gross. And they fry, they overcook, they overfry everything. But they've somehow, like, really developed this dedicated cult fan base. And this is not recent. Like, before Rancheritos was Rancheritos, it was Beto's. They're the same franchise. Mm -hmm. 
they're the same franchise. So this was back when I was in high school. People were like, oh, we got to eat at Beto's. We got to eat at blah, 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 even though it's disgusting. <laughs> so this is like 20, 20 plus years and, and word of mouth. And it's like people don't want to admit that they're wrong or that they have shit taste. So they continue to, to eat there. It's like, oh, $12 for a disgusting burrito? Okay. Even that shitty burrito place on the corner of 1800 by uh, where 7-Eleven used to be. Eight fucking bucks. Eight dollars for one regular burrito. No toppings, no cheese, no rice. And it was plain as can be still better than fucking what Beto's Rancheritos makes. But they have such a dedicated cult fan base that's been built up and reinforced over like 23 years. So people are like, their friends tell them about it. So they go and eat there and they're like, oh, it's really disgusting, but I don't want to hurt my friend's feelings. I don't want to hurt the franchise's feelings. And then they tell their friends and other people like, oh, you, you know, and then they'll like, they'll gaslight themselves into saying that it was like a good thing. They'll say, they'll say, um, you know what? Even if it's not good, it's local. You should support local. So then it's not even a matter of, you know what? I'm hungry. Where can I go to buy good food? It's, oh, you should buy local. Well, if the local food tastes like dog shit, why would you support it? There's a reason why half these businesses that used to be here are fucking gone now. They're extinct. <clears throat> and they wouldn't even be successful in Mexico because at least they have real Mexican food. Out here, it's overcooked, deep fried, refried shit because they think that's all the Americans like because everybody's fat or getting fat. So, like, oh, you like it extra fried, refried? Yes, please. So, like I said earlier in the video, I, re I just assume go to Taco Bell. I'm going to get diarrhea anyway, so I know it won't stay in my system for long. So. So this is where I filmed out earlier this morning, like around 9, 9 a.m. There's going to be a day trip part two because you notice that I said um, FOE video was part one. Part two will be uploaded this Tuesday or Wednesday. And it's just going to be a short little 10 minute video. Um, I made the mistake of recording using this video options HVEC which I have no idea what that stands for, some kind of high definition. And uh, it's not compatible with my desktop software. And what I ended up having to do was upload it to YouTube, privatize the video, download it, which then it worked. I used video conversion software to upscale everything to HD except for the first part which really sucks because it's like the majority bulk of the video and uh, but you'll get to see what it looks like during the day um, it is it's like everything I've said here recording it is a different atmosphere it's a different place at night than it is during the day and vice versa. Um, so I'm going to make sure I don't use that setting because I just it's easier for me to just record it, upload it to my computer, and do whatever. Because the software was taking way too long. And especially since it's not free anymore. So that gets expensive. Oh, okay, so that's for that way, not this way. 
Cars are going this way, but not that way. But yeah, okay. That's fine. I guess. Um, I might get off of here and start an offline recording. I might. I'm not really sure. Because I've been recording in around this part of Roy, the Riverdale Road area, like, because it's just something different. There's absolutely nothing to see. I was thinking about going to that park in Roy, which I might go later and do some night filming there. There's nothing to see. There's nothing to see in Sunset. There's nothing to see in fucking Clinton. Uh, if I live closer to Clearfield, I would probably go to Clearfield. If I lived in Layton, I would film around Layton. If I lived in Salt Lake, I'd film in Salt Lake. Imagine living over there at Cherry Creek and then having to go to, um... Having to go to Roy High. There's no bus out here that picks anybody up, either. So you'd be stuck walking. We're here at night, at the rare time of night where there's a lot of traffic. I wonder if this was the buckling bridge part that they were talking about. Like, this? I really don't know. I don't know. Look at it this way. If you're unable, if, if you're just too tired or lazy or just otherwise unable to leave your house, you can live vicariously through me. See, look, I'm doing it so you don't have to. You could literally just get up, make a sandwich, grab a drink while I'm out here walking. And you're not missing a thing. You're not feeling the night cool air breeze because there is none. It's still really fucking hot. Normally at nighttime we turn the AC off and roll the windows down, but I guarantee if we're out and about right now on a road trip, we would absolutely have our AC on. It's so fucking hot right now. <laughs> still. I think it's dropped a little bit. If you're like, well, you're wearing black. That absorbs the heat during the day at night I should be fine people are funny though they make a mountain out of a molehill out of like like when people don't have a good response for something they resort to like insults and name calling they question your intelligence and I'm like, well, I can already tell you don't know how to debate because you're using straw men tactics and... All this other shit. It really sucks. Like, like our parks department here really sucks. Like in Weber County and Davis. Because we don't really have any programs going there. No one plays baseball there anymore, or soccer. It's literally just football. They don't have anything like painting in the park. When the Roy Pool, what used to be there, which is gone, it's been gone for over 20 years now. Um, it was the municipal pool. It was the city fucking pool. That fucking council back then decided, well, we don't need it. We don't need the pool. Who fucking decided that? Oh, we already have a pool at the complex. 
Bitch, that fucking pool was so convenient because it's right up the street from where I lived. I didn't need to go to the complex. I just go to the pool. I mean, yeah, I am walking a bit of a ways in shitty shoes. But you have to remember, I taped my feet down and I took precautions before I left the house. So, 